חבר ליפסקי, בבקשה. חיים, חיים. הגות הבוח. Continuing with this wonderful international fabrengen. As some said before, Mustama, much of the uh, spoken words have been said already. But that's what a fabrengen is about. We can have an amaisa, aimal, nachamal, adritamal, until it goes in. And same thing with a nigan. You can sing it again and again until uh, something resonates. I didn't know the schedule of which sikhs are going to play when, but uh, this last sikha took, uh, took us back 30 years ago, standing in 770, and as the Rebbe is speaking these dramatic words, you know, I remember just the blood draining, you know, when you have a moment of shock, your blood drains, and you don't know how to respond, and that was the reaction, just a shock. <coughs> Although as mentioned already and played already, the Rebbe spoke the concept put in Tavshim and Zion already, even longer and stronger with explanations, but then nevertheless, it's, uh, it was a whole different way. And of course, right away, the Eitzahara kicks in and some people make explanations. But uh, I remember after then, it, it was definitely a big shock and there were many Hasidim that didn't go to sleep that night. There were many Hasidim that gathered together, phone conferences, meetings, and basements, and Crown Heights, Bachrim, Pashmish Kishlof and Agan Sanacht, and trying to figure out what, you know, what's the response? What's the reaction? What's the response? And now it's 30 years later, every day. Like some say, to, to make a date out of Chav Ches Nisim may be going against the whole, uh, the whole Sikha. Because Chav Ches Nisim is not a date. Chav Ches Nisim has ever told us the urgency that every year needs to feel the responsibility and urgency to bring Mashiach at every moment. It's not about the once a year Chav Ches Nisim marking the date. <coughs> Thirty years later, it means we're thirty years closer to Mashiach, and thirty years uh, of of more goals. Rabbi Lipsker, I'll interrupt you for a second. Forgive me. To, to say on 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 vav ear that chav ches nisan is not about chav ches nisan is fair, but to say on chav ches nisan that chav ches nisan is not about chav ches nisan that's an excuse. It's good, you know, you wake up in two, three days from now and you say that kinos that took place on Chav Ches Nisan should take also place today and also tomorrow and also the next day because that's what the Rebbe wanted. If, only, if we only wake up Chav Ches Nisan, it's no good. But if, the, if in the only time we wake up, we say it's not the time to wake up, that, that's no good. First, let's, let's start with waking up now. Let's, and, and Let's finish and till the end. <laughs> let's finish till the end. His Eider does definitely has to be. It's before yeah. Chav Ches Nisan. In simple words, Ayu, it's, it's not 1 p.m. In life, it's simple, it sounds complicated, but it's simple. We, we live in a world, a little bit of a spoiled world. Growing up, especially those in New York, you know. We depend on others to do things for us, like children, little children. Things are done for us, as they gave us. There was a word from the Rebbe to Gersh Mendel, after the first few years of Shlichus, I remember the exact Lashem, but he repeated it a few times. The Rebbe said, no, it's time to start walking on your own. You feel it by my hand? Obviously, everything was new. Shlichus was new. The Rebbe answered every little question. And now it's time to walk on your own. What does it mean to be responsible for something? If a person knows he needs to get a car and he doesn't have money and he's the one responsible. So the default Yetzirah says, maybe I'll win the lottery. Maybe the government will give me a rebate. Maybe I'll have a chveis. So someone will give me a Yerusha. <laughs> It'll happen. Chveis, I'll, I'll open a book. I'll, I'll, I'll wait for the big sale. Something may happen. But if a person is responsible, 
and a person knows the need, then you get up and you do something about it. You don't wait for others to do and you join a project and a program. You wake up and you say, one second, this is what I need. Allah has come come of this is a tzarech rabim. Then you get up and you do something, whether it's parnasa, whether it's abayis, whether it's to get married, whether it's in and of health. When you realize that the one responsible, the one that's going to happen is me, myself, it, it's a switch. It's a switch. A person can do something and do something and, and it's a gate finished or whatever it is, but once you wake up, and you have that switch, the light bulb goes on that they may not nearly immediately, and I'm responsible for this. And then you start doing what I've done, can move inside the Shmaya and Kaikas, the Sadovara Pasha. And everyone was in shock that ever says to Dalt Vasir Kent, and, and so many years passed. What else can we do? What else can we do? So Mr. Ahmed's spoken about it already many times. That so like Hakel B'nei Shemayim puts me in a Shemayim. The Rebbe can't. I want Mashiach. The Rebbe can. The Rebbe is Mashiach. Will Mashiach brings Mashiach. Does Mashiach. But if the Kavana is did it betachtainim alidei betachtainim that we need to want Mashiach, the Eibushter can't be. The Eibushter can't. You want to do Taira Mitzvah? That's your bechira. You have to want it. And the Rebbe says Mashiach needs to be ours. That's part of Chabad, the whole concept of Chabad, the Da'as, the Betachtein, and the Riskashlus is not, but the Rebbe does everything. You have to do everything. With Mashiach, it's a whole different thing. With Mashiach is all Malamai Lulamata. It's like Arisnaman from Golos. We can't get out of Golos. Mashiach has to take us out of Golos. Abish has to take us out of Golos. But here the Rebbe said there's another Shlav. There's another Indian here that maybe we didn't realize. It, 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 there's two ways to look at it. One way to look at it is like from the Purim and Zayn Sikh and Ebitzi. It is Hadayras. We're not bottle enough to the Nasi Hadayr. We're not uh, truly connected to Yechida Shabbat Nefesh. So what the Rebbe does is not completely ours. Maybe we're not. So therefore, it has to come to every person. Or another way to look at it is the positive way. The Rebbe says every year it has a Nitzitz of Mashiach. Every year it has to be your own Mashiach. We have to be our own Mashiach. And the Rebbe used the Lashon later in the. I forgot which Fabrengu it was. Yeah, the end of Zayna Rebbe, like the Tayyar Admur. You know, you should not, not be afraid of the Tayyar Admur. Everyone was like, well, what, what does that mean exactly? It means L'chayr in a very simple way. Very simple way. Let's say even when it comes to Mephtsoyim and Shilchus. When it comes to Mephtsoyim and Shilchus, the bottom line, is that Ketan Ben, Nayid has to put on fill What your motivation is, whatever it is, you have to get the things done. As many women should light Shabbos candles, Go to the mikveh, you should put on film, you should want it, it has to get done. Why is it getting done? It could be many reasons. This one is doing it because he wants to make a beautiful duch and give the rabbi nachas look. This one is doing it because he needs to feel great. The other one, it's a matter of what's enough, give me no why. <coughs> you do it, you, you, you get it done. You're going to ask all that, but the rabbi haste, I do. But if you look into the rabbi sikhas, and you listen to stories about shlichas in the early years, and the rabbi chadikov used to give over the rabbi's with us, it was clear that the Rebbe wanted a lot more. This is the apex of it. Tut was again. But the word was always that it has to be yours. Rechadga once called the Shliach in the middle of the night. He said, the Shlach. <laughs> and he said, Yetz bin Nechuf. Many Shluchim had this concept. So he said, Bifal Yiddish a kinder is Daba Din Shtat, or Medina, whatever, wherever this person was. How many Jewish children are there in your town or in the place or country? He said, whatever, I don't know, 5,000. So how many of them have a Jewish education? Well, whatever the number was. So he said, How can you sleep at night when thousands of Jewish children in your, in your place don't have a Jewish education and you're sleeping at night? How, how does that happen? What's the message? What, 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 what did the. Uh, what did, what, what did he want the shliach should feel? What, what, what was the point? That besides being a soldat, and being a soldier, and being a butler, and being a makusha, and everything that ever wants, I want. And I'm going to go on Mr. Snefesh. I'm not going to have any life for myself. Give me with the Gans 11 and 11. And then if so, I'm going to get every year. The Rebbe wants to be your achrayis. Not that the Rebbe feels every Jew in the world. And the Rebbe feels the need of every Jew. And therefore, the Rebbe sent emissaries that we should take care of you because the Rebbe is the biggest Rebbe. The Rebbe wanted you should have that Rebbe Abbas Yisrael. 
you should feel there's that it's your achrayis of all the Jewish children in your place. We shlaps the manach. The rabbi shlaps the manach. The male does also shlaps the manach. That's not enough, says the rabbi. Not the rabbi wants the mashiach. It's important to the rabbi, so it's important to me. I, I can't. I can't see the rabbi crying for mashiach anymore. I, I, I'm going to just scream out masa. The rabbi wants it to be your own. That, that's why the rabbi told the shluchim it has to be besimcha v'tovleva. I'm not going to be the sumach of the table. The shlich is not going to be matzliach dik enough. No, then it's not going to be yours. Then you're not going to own it. But I've explained that why why he put mifza avos yisrael before all the other ten mitzvahs. I've spoke about it at the end, but in the in, in the rishima, that I've put it first. That I've spoke a few times because the motivation of all the mitzvahim has to be avos yisrael. <laughs> The guy says, well, say, your motivation of Mitzayim used to be a year there in the valley. The Rebbe's Ten Commandments. You know, they used to, the guy we used to say, you to put on a, do a mitzvah. Is it from the Rebbe's Ten Commandments? Then I'll do it. It's not the Rebbe's Ten Commandments. I don't, I don't know. I do the Rebbe's Ten Commandments. That's the motivation. The Rebbe's up Mitzayim. You have to do Mitzayim. The Rebbe says, no. You should have Abbas Yisrael. And a chesaron of another year should be your problem. And there is a leg better that he doesn't have to fill him. And that should be your motivation. That we can sign it. You should motivate. You should be motivated. You love him. You give him what you want. That's going to be your motivation to put him on the <coughs> Why not enough to be? Uh, because then it's yours. And if it's mine, what's the chilik if it's mine or not? Because that's the whole thing. Bring the Mashiach. The Mashiach is the matter of the The Aduruch didn't get in the belt. The Rebbe's grace kite is not that the Rebbe has so many soldiers. The Rebbe's grace guy, the Rebbe says, the shliach, your, your das should be him, your chassid, that every yid, every guy, lahavdil, that his mind should be permeated with the Rebbe's way of thinking. That his own thinking should be the Rebbe's way of thinking. That's the deepest way. And that, that's located the pshat that every single one of us has a nitzit mashiach, the Rebbe says. And we have to, you want to bring mashiach, every mashiach prati, together we'll bring the mashiach to There has to be our responsibility. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. As they gave us, otherwise, what we see in the world things don't last and don't endure if it's not your responsibility. And we know that everyone has their own home, their own family, their own mesa, their own challenges. This one needs a diet, and this one needs a job, and this one needs an exercise, and this one has to build a mesa, this one has a family. Until you take a chrayas and say, This is my responsibility and nobody else's. Something epis epis hates a hundred. That's when things begin to move. That's called uh, uh, maturity, but uh, for sure maturity. And, and, and then it comes and say, and now we're 30 years later. And now what? Now we live in a world where on one hand the world is getting worse, worse, worse. On the other hand, the world is getting better, better, better. Perhaps even the negative things are is moving in this direction. You know, people are, are in a certain way alone. But in a certain way, people can take responsibility for themselves maybe easier, easier than Amal. It's like a tziruf of the yachid and the, and, and the rabbim in the, in the best possible way in history. The koyach that a yachid has today is, is unbelievable. The gashmi is technology. Whichever way you look at it, the power of a yachid, what a yachid can do alone to create a following in many different ways, inventions, v'kulu v'kulu, that needed big teams in the past is, is, is unbelievable. And then the other way around to get teams and, and, and influence Rabin is also much easier than it used to be. But I was saying that Minyan Yidin, Minyan Yidin, that it has to be a movement. It's, it's a Gans Klali slow. Mashiach HaKlali comes through the Mashiach HaPrati. <coughs> and I was discussing with the last week about this whole Indian. So what was so what's the Pshat? We don't know Pshat. The goals have to be this way. It shouldn't have been this way. Should Chavzai know that it happened? No, Chavzai did not happen. Did Gimel Thomas have happened? No, it should not have happened. Should have Mashiach come a long time ago? Of course, it should have come a long time ago. But we don't ask why, we ask what. What do we need to do? Right now, right now, it's clear that every day we have to ask ourselves, comes a day like Chavzai, listen again, is it my responsibility? And the Rebbe said, the Frat, Ms. Gibbon, and the Gawa Sapnim, which is, which is a very, very powerful words when you, you hear it over and over again. And it's connected. It's connected. Golos Apnimi is a, is a Shvera Golos. The Golos Apnimi, that doesn't seem to be getting better. But 
the, that is the solution. That's what the Rebbe is telling us. The solution is as yeder ener tut als was he can. You have to know. I have to know. Every single leader has to know. We have to influence others, and that's how we we pass on this message. That's how we talk to people about Mashiach. You have to live like Mashiach. You have to learn like Mashiach. The message is that it becomes every year's responsibility. It could be it was spoken already before I spoke to Shleich last week. Some Shluchim wrote it in this past week's email that the whole Avaida can be hinted in the four words of we want Mashiach now. We want Mashiach now. This is, uh, this is the fear that you can put it all in, in a, in a nutshell. Even though a nutshell doesn't work, but that's what the Rebbe says, Gula Mashiach, you want it to become yours? You have to learn Gula Mashiach. Avaida Hashem has to change. You have to learn pay there. We have to have mashpia lachayim. Every every time the Rebbe is saying more and more about Mashiach, he goes, "Bas meitz the Rebbe gives away mem dav dav mem dav wer mem dav dav mem dav wer mem." Of course, every single sichah and letter and everything is about learning more Torah and doing more mitzvahs. But to get out of the gulos tafnimi and to get out of the dav wer mem, it has to become your own. How does it become your own? You learn. You learn gula Mashiach. You influence gula Mashiach. You start living the old thing like the Rebbe said, and then it happens. What's the maskan of the four words? We want Mashiach now. The first zakh is we. Why not I want Mashiach now? Why we want Mashiach now? If the every single person's responsibility, I'm saying I want Mashiach now. Was it the pshat we? We the pshat is that yeah, that you, you, you can't do it alone. You need everybody else. It's your responsibility, just like everybody's responsibility. They never said put him in Zion. Every that listen, that call ha'elam kula is on a balance and your next mitzvah. The problem is we took it like 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 a threat, like like a guilt trip, like a. Imagine Mashiach is going to come. You're not going to be embarrassed with all your wasted time on in, of your life. Mashiach is going to come now. You're not going to be embarrassed. Mashiach is going to come now. What are you going to tell me? You're going to shemzach for Mashiach. He didn't put on tefillin to another ten people. That's not that's not yachrias kolei lom kolei. You better watch your next step. It's the responsibility. It's the schus. It's the it's the it's the uvkilab kai. That's the pshat of of of, of yachria kolei lom kolei. When you're responsible for something, it's not oy, they, 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 the company's going to drop if I don't go into the office. It's it's a positive feeling of of, of, of ownership, and and that's what makes it happen. So why we? So why not I want Mashiach now? That was like we. That was like I want Mashiach because we because Kali Yisrael is Enzach in the end. In the end, we that you're wanting has to include everybody else around. It's we. We're all connected. Every yid is connected to each other. The Avos is all the source of all the mitzvahim. We're all one. And the Rebbe says we have to convince everyone and ourselves that it has to be a want. It's not we don't, we not pray for Mashiach now. We don't ask for Mashiach now. We don't need Mashiach now. We want Mashiach now. That's what the Rebbe was a sikha. I don't remember when. But the Rebbe explained we want Mashiach now that it's a want. A want is even stronger than a need. Why? Uh, uh, it's in the fancy English. A want is like a very strong. Uh, I'm missing something, and I have a longing. It's a felt made, and I and I and I can't be without it. I, I must have it. I must get it. That's that's the first step. When you realize that you have a want to something, you create inside through learning, through understanding a want. Then it happens. What do we want? Mashiach. That has we have to educate ourselves. What do we want? Mashiach is coming. It's going to be good. That everybody knows. It's a good. What is it? I'm learning. This is what it is. Shlom Satayra, Mafal Bez David, Gilia Likos, whatever it is. And then the bottom line is the now. That's the hardest part. The hardest part is the now. The now is that it's the urgency. The now is the urgency. L'chayra, Hadas Tachtim, you know, from Nisim Tav Shinon to Nisim Tav Shinon Aleph, that was, you know, that was Mashiach High. According to the Cheshbonis and the famous Maimon of 6,000 years in a Tav Shinon, that's it. That's the break time. And this in Tav Shinon, Mashiach Shele came. Afterwards, the Rebbe started saying, it makes no sense. And then a one year, everyone says, it was a one year. But the Asylum is zero. But the Asylum is one. Tav Shinon, Aleph, the end of Nisan. What's going on? So this stop a pile. <coughs> and that's what the Rebbe wanted from us. We should have the urgency. And we all know what an urgency means. We know it, Rahman al-Islam, when negative things happen. So we're going to ice mensch. Uh, what's going to be, what's going to be? And we, we go full force. But this is an urgency in a positive way. That it should be that every year was all ahead and as, 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 uh, it's something we need and we need it now. We want Mashiach Nishtin, Atog, and Sveik. That was the whole beginning of the Sikhah. 
Not that Mashiach is coming and plan B, <laughs> something else has to happen. We live as a Mashiach can come, but it can come in. Asher Hain, Asher Morgan, Asher Eber Morgan, Asher Eber Ayon. It says the urgency. Where is the urgency? <coughs> and that every yid has to have. So it's taka. It sounds sometimes as a interesting, but lachayda. That's the Rebbe's message. We don't know the Eibush's ways. We don't know the Eibush's ways. But it's so many years after Gimel Tama, so many years after Chavchas. Listen, thirty years already. Gevald. So a whole day chadash, a new generation. What's the new generation's tooth outsvasid can? How do you take the new generation and say, most many people say, I don't care about this stuff. American generation, the new age, millennial, post-millennial. I don't care about this. I don't care about anything. When we take the responsibility, it's your job. It's ours, then you make happen. When you care about something, you help other people care about something, and it becomes us. That's what people will hear. People today can hear, it's your project. It's your project. That people can hear. And this is how chassidim have to be educate ourselves, yidin have to educate ourselves, shlichas, whatever you're doing, that it's your feeling to the other yid. You want to be Mashiach. Of course, it's the Rebbe's keiches, and the Rebbe's energy, and his kashlus, and all the good But the end is, look into ourselves, and part of getting out of the Gaulus Hapnimi, do I really feel responsibility? That's what the Rebbe Gevald, you learn so much this Chabad, we have such inspiration, we have such a connection to the Rebbe. No? Do you have an Ephes Kotzehu of Avish Yisrael that the Rebbe had? Do you have Ephes Kotzehu of feeling in a Christ to every youth in your neighborhood? Do you have Ephes Kotzehu of feeling in a Christ to the closest people to us, to our family, to our children, spouses, parents, siblings? <coughs> <coughs> Everything else that could be done. Davis is a little health, and this should be the last day moments of Golos. We should take it from the Yad. The next moment, the next Meister, the next Dibur, the next Machshava. And we want Mashiach now to everyone around us to be a good inspiration and influence to other people around us to, 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 to make them responsible, give them the responsibility. Not only to us, the Rebbe wants chain reaction, us to another year, to another year, to another year, that everyone is a chrayis for this to happen. When we bring down the Dula, take it from Yad Mamish, from Alkenu Bereshenu, Amen. There's a minute left, there's a minute left, Zauzingan Anigan, Agansa Fabrengan Ananigan.